cheap kick with them onions look good too with that deer meat. Mm. Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Homestead. How y'all doing? Well, this morning I'm going to be walking around showing you an update on the garden, show you how it's doing, and also we're going to show you chickens right here. Haven't showed y'all how they've been doing, and uh, they've been uh, doing real good. You see right here, they're they got real big on me here, and hopefully it won't be just, be just too long. Uh, we'll start getting some eggs from them. Might be another couple months, but uh, just want to show y'all an uh, update on these chickens, how they're doing. Here's my rooster right here. <laughs> hey there. You want to tell everybody hey? He was just out here crowing a while ago, right before I brought the camera out. So... I guess he don't like it, does he? <laughs> Let me show you. Here's one of these little hybrid poplar trees right here we planted. Uh, they're doing real good. Let's walk you over here and show you these grapevines. They're coming along pretty good right there. That's one of them. Here's another one right there. And here's some squash that I've planted about four or five days ago and they're coming up we're gonna have uh, some later squash from them and that's what I wanted the first one I planted right here they died and I waited on replanting them because I've got some down my other garden I'll show you but uh, that way we have uh, squash coming off at different times because a lot of times you know the squash they come off so quick one time and um, I like this year I'm kind of doing things in stages so we have vegetables throughout the whole summer instead of all at one time and here's uh, my bantam uh, sweet corn it's doing real good this first time we planted uh, this type of sweet corn and uh, normally we plant just field corn uh, we have planted sweet corn before uh, silver queen but uh this is going to be the first time on this particular uh, type of sweet corn. So they say it's real good, and so I can't wait to try it. Now here is another uh, poplar tree we planted, and they're doing, doing real good there. You can see right here, I've got some mulch I've started putting down. And uh, what well, I did, I bought me a uh, chipper. Uh, shredder and uh, I'll, I'll show I'll do a video on that show y'all uh, what kind of got and uh, the reason I bought it was I wanted to uh, be able to uh, chip my limbs up when I cut my firewood I have a lot of limbs and stuff uh, from trees I cut and so I just throw them in the brush pile and we'll get some use out of it and um, also you know for composting put them in a pile and let it compost over the years and add it back to my garden so uh, there's an investment there, but uh, I'll, I'll do another video and show y'all me using that and show you what I think about it there. But uh, here's my little garden here beside my house. Uh, my potatoes, they're uh, doing real good. Uh, it won't be too long, probably, and I'll be uh, digging these potatoes up, probably. Um, it might be another month or whatever, but some of the leaves are starting to die on them, so... Uh, they've done real good and uh, right here let me show you these are my cherry tomatoes i have uh, five of these and uh, they're doing real good I just got some pepper plants up here it's cayenne and different uh bell pepper different plants and let me just walk you down here real quick these cabbages right here um they come along pretty good. Let me show you them. That's two different uh, variety right here. These these are uh, the ones I bought from Walmart, and uh, of mine I planted. Um, sound like I was just getting a late start, and 
had two of them here that just didn't do too good and I planned a uh, another one right over here uh, it might be iron and uh, here's some cucumbers right here that I planted I'm going to uh, have to put something down for them to run on and um, my onions didn't do too good uh, these multiplying onions and I planted them when we had all that rain and stuff and most of them uh, they uh, they rotted on me and uh, so that's Pretty much I just got a few of them there, but um, these right down through here, these are my bell peppers right here. They're doing good. Just let me walk you over here. And uh, here we have our zucchini plants right here. They seem like they're doing good. The other day I had a limb, we had a hard rain, break a few of my uh, stalks off right here on my plant right here but don't look like it hurt too bad and uh right here we've uh, got our uh, watermelons i finally got them planted a little late on them but i think we'll have plenty of time um what i did i just drilled a hole about two feet deep and uh with my auger and uh i put soil in there and some compost and manure and i've done it different this year and i'll come back and i'll put me some uh wood chips or something maybe some hay for the watermelons lay on out here uh, so we're gonna try that this year that's something a little bit different uh, just see how that works right down here my pepper plants cayenne pepper and uh, got some banana pepper and jalapeno pepper plants all right in here they're they're seem like they're doing real good and right here is my uh, brandy wine tomatoes. Uh, show you what they look like. They seem like they're doing good. While I'm down here, I want to show you something. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I know a lot of you know about it. Some of you may not. So I'll just go ahead and uh, show you what I do and um, and the reason I do it. Um, when these tomato plants uh, get so big, they uh, start producing uh, suckers. And uh, these suckers, a lot of times you can take them and cut them off and you can replant them. And that's what I'm going to be doing this year. So I can extend my growing season on my tomatoes over in the fall. And uh, on these uh, suckers, it's best to cut them off of uh, tomato plants that are indeterminate. Uh, you got determinate and indeterminate. And uh, the difference is your indeterminate kind of grows all season long, producing tomatoes and stuff. Where your determinate tomatoes, they kind of uh, produce all at one time. That's my understanding anyway. Um, but these uh, particular ones are indeterminate. And I'm not going to say you can't cut the suckers off of your determinate tomatoes. They may not do as good. Uh, let's say uh, I would just do the ones with the indeterminate tomatoes. So... Uh, they always work good to me. I'm going to just show you real quick uh, what I do. There ain't nothing hard about it. It's very simple. And instead of having to go out there and buy more tomato plants, um, like I say, this is a cheap way of just doing it yourself. It also helps your tomato plant to produce bigger tomatoes. Um, if you leave them on there, you may get more tomatoes, you know, if, you know than uh, if you cut them off. But uh, the reason I'm cutting off is just so I can have more tomato plants. That's the only reason uh, I'm doing it. Let me just show you how I do it here. Um, what you want to look for is, uh, if you look right here, you see how right in there, this tomato stem right here, it comes down and it comes into a base of a tomato, the stem right here, the plant. So this is your sucker right here. This is what you want to cut right here. And all you do, let's see if I can get this with the camera. Um, I just uh, take it and cut it off right there and uh, you can see that right there and uh, what I do I, I'm not going to do it just right yet and I just got some water right here I'm going to stick it in um, but what I do I take a knife and I scrape the stalk right in here the stem of the tomato and uh, that kind of uh, helps the uh, it kind of helps the uh, roots to go ahead and start uh, coming out on the stalk 
and probably like five to ten days that tomato uh, that sucker right there it'll be ready to put in the ground and plant and you can put it uh, in water and do it and it'll root out in the water or you can take it and put it in soil and keep it moist and it'll root out in that too um, but I always like as soon as I cut that off I like putting it straight into the water there um, it may have some you know a little shock from it you know cutting it and putting it in there but um, you just want to make sure you know you don't put no sunlight you know till everything you know takes hold on the sucker right there it may wilt a little bit but you know it, it'll be all right but let me go ahead and show you the rest of my garden here this video may be longer than i thought it would be showing y'all this stuff but uh anyway i know it's been a while since i did an update on my garden just want to show you here um this is my um corn right here this is my field corn this is uh hickory king uh field corn so uh it's doing real good i started out with seven rows of corn and uh between the birds and whatever other else uh, was picking my corn up out of the ground i was able to replant uh the little stalks save a lot of them and that's what you can see out in here some of the shorter corn that's where i had to uh put it back down in the ground so they're, they're a little bit slower growing there but uh it's doing real good i'm gonna wind up having um a total of well i got six rows right now but um just probably about five put them together five full rows um right here is my squash they're growing pretty good and we've been getting a lot of evening showers and you see it's real wet out here and you can see how you know that rain's been beating down on these uh, plants um but uh hey they, they're doing good uh, right here is my cherokee uh beans right here um they're starting to run so i'm gonna have to get me a trellis or a fence up there for them to run on and also here is some of my cucumbers i got uh, i'm going to be uh letting them run on a fence normally i let my um cucumbers run uh, just put them in mounds but i'm doing a little bit different this year uh in this area here uh, i'm just gonna run them up a, a fence there and right out here is some top pick top pick uh peas this first year I planted them type purple hole and uh they seem like they're doing all right i see some discoloration in in them there um not really sure if that's uh just uh nature of them type beans peas when they come up or what but um uh, my other peas normally don't do that um, it could be a little bit too much rain right now so i have to keep a check on that but let me just walk you around here real quick uh, show you these uh other tomatoes and beans i also right here my uh corn right here what i did the other day i planted some um, blue lake pole beans along a lot of my stalks down through here up to about this point right in here and i'll cross there so we're gonna have some um pole beans blue lake uh growing up them stalks there and here's my uh, bush uh green beans right here and uh, the problem i'm having with this well ain't no problem it's just something i'm gonna have to work with is the grass in it uh, i don't like all this grass but it's so wet so this evening i may just try to get in there and try to get some of that grass up with a hole or my high wheel push flow um what i do normally when it's dry just take and smother that grass out pull that dirt up against my beans there but uh you can see right there uh got a lot of grass in it and i don't like it but i'm just gonna have to deal with it right now just because it's so wet um here is uh my rudger uh tomatoes they're doing real good um so i'm happy with my tomatoes this year and all these is ones i growed myself uh, from seeds so they're doing good and here's a squash plant i just uh put over here and uh it's doing good and here's my pepper plants i set out from my last video you can see all of them done real good uh, doing that transplant and uh, right here i planted another 
uh, squash right here in this mound. So they're coming up. And uh, right here on the end down here is I, I put my asparagus down here. And you can see right there, I already have one of them coming up. And um, there's some right there starting to come up. And I'll be adding some more good soil to top of this right here when they all uh, come up. And uh, what I did, I used crowns, asparagus crowns, two-year-old crowns I bought. And also my other asparagus, uh, I got them up there on the porch right there, the ones I planted from seeds. Uh, they're doing real good. Uh, not sure when I'm going to be setting them out. But uh, right here is my okra right here. Same thing with the grass. Uh, I went through here yesterday uh, thinning my okra out. That's a Clemson spineless okra. And uh, it's doing good. And my butter beans over here. I had to replant them the first time. They didn't come up. I, um, not really sure why. But anyway, I replanted them. And they came up this time real good. And uh, over here. I've got some more cucumbers. I'm gonna let these run right here. These cucumbers, I'm just going to uh, let these run maybe, but um, seeing how wet it is right in here, I don't know how, I may have let these run up on a, a fence or something, put something from the run on. Cause this seems like it's staying wet down in here against all this rain, so um, not for sure. I was gonna let them run, but after seeing this, you know, I don't know, I may not, but anyway, Here's my um, Redfield Beauty tomatoes. Uh, they're doing real good. And uh, just wanted to show y'all how my garden's doing. Minus the grass. Uh, seems like everything's doing good, you know. This is the two little problem areas I got here. My okra and my green beans right here. But like I said, I'm going to take care of that as soon as I can. Um, so, just wanted to bring y'all this quick video, uh, probably not too quick, <laughs> but just wanted to uh, give y'all a little update on uh, how my garden's doing, and uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video today, and maybe some of you might learn something on the suckers right there on the tomato plants. Um, like I say, most people, um, like I say, probably uh, don't you know cut them off you know some of you may some of you may not you don't have to it ain't no big deal if you don't it's just uh, something you no know, a lot of people do to either have bigger tomatoes or to have the extra uh tomato plants to be able to plant but uh hope y'all enjoyed today's video and as always from my family to yours y'all have a blessed day friends see y'all later bye bye